All right, good news, everyone. We are back with more amnesia. The reason why it took so long to get back... Oh, God. I want to make a break for it. Just make a break for it on the left. The reason why it took so long is because I was trying to install a remastered mod, and I failed completely two times over, so I couldn't do it. And he's going to come back towards me, and they can let him. Just, just in case. Might slow him down a bit. Hey, yeah, no. August 1839. Banishment ritual is taking longer than expected, and we have to do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way, as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy, and the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, I shall be ready. This doesn't sound friendly. Oh hey, bucket of tar. Now we just need a bucket of feathers and we can coat them as a chicken. Gears are here. Do I need them? Nope. Wait, is this where he came from? No, no, this is different. Need to retrieve the orb. Hey, statue. Nope, not in my playthrough. That is the abyss over there. Put some meat. Okay, I need to sacrifice something here apparently. Probably the orb. Just need to find it. Six Who pieces. To question me? I am Sir Daniel the Fourth. I think fifth? Seventeenth. Eighteen forty nine. I have no idea. Is there lightning coming out of that door? There is. I don't think I can cross through here. Yep, nope. Ow. Well, you can't blame me for trying. Hmm. More and more curious. What do I do with the bucket of tar? I think I can come back with the note, otherwise I'm just gonna go back. Such filth, he thought. Good men can safely cheer their departure as they are nothing but a burden to mankind. They shall not be missed. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Oh, that is smart. 
Huh. Hey, bud. Fat lava? Oh, that one. So many of Alexander's things are breaking down. Look around. Maybe the other room. There are machine parts hidden all over this place. You'll find a way to fix it. They do have a lever here. But... Gumi, I'm Heinrich Cornelius Aquinas. I was once quite important to you. Baron Alexander has sustained my soul in this dead husk for years. Who knows how many? Hundreds, I presume. How are things coming? I found the Mithraia plants. Find which had not been planned. Hey! I suppose it was planned. It is an old thing. Building temples out of caverns. The dark walls being the universe. And inside are its flowers. Humans watching the sky slowly climb. But the followers do one thing to allow them a real sense of connection. Creation. Some forms. I think I know how to get up now. Not many orbs are left. They sometimes consume themselves. Or break. Then used by an unemployed I was a lot of So all I found was their plan. And returned to what I found. I know because Alexander took it. What you could try to do. Fire was a brave man. And dared to proceed that I did not. He unearthed a number of cavern temples and gathered a whole collection of orbs. But unlike every other finder since the fall of the Israel faith, he was able to unshackle the horror you and I connect with the orbs. He used them and was able to travel far and wide beyond the world itself. How many voice lines does this guy have? So does Alexander. That's why he keeps me here as a hostage, hoping Brian will reveal himself. Nice. Okay. Got it working. You're a good boy, and I appreciate your comfort. But I believe you have more important things to take care of. Got it fixed. Okay, cool. Now I can go up and pull the lever. I think. Beautiful. Nice. What did I do? I wonder. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. We were friends? Let's go back to our friend down here. Hey! Was there something else? You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could do it. Doors? Oh, right, the door's right over here. They said different location. Let's go in here, see if there's anything special.
Is it even pulling it up? Ah. Uh, oh! I'm guessing we have to go through that door to get a bucket. The thick liquid spread across his tongue. He swallowed excessively to consume every drop. He looked through the window at the widespread forest and the morning sun. Will this ever end? He thought. Oh, what kind of fresh hell are we in now? This one, prepare him. The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave away to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman, suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. Oh, yikes. So oh, she got pulled. That's heavy. Hey, a piece of an orb. Nice. Piece of an orb. My eye. Daniel, man, get a hold of yourself. Come on. This is making me a little dizzy. The cradle is ready. Good. You. You're a man! How can you partake in this? Is he alright? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man! It was an accident! Oh god, I know this one. set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault! Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. Piece of an orb. Oh, and we're supposed to use the tar to mold it all back together. Got it. My eyes. Ah, my knees. Don't worry, I'm good.
The rapist hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flooding from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in, his, in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. Oh, I noticed. Upside down. Thawing. Yikes, that is the, that is the worst. Yeah, no. Notes on torture. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, that is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. Prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem. But it will, but it will also hinder the effect they aim after. I am after. The right steps are. The right steps to take are therefore to restrain while the victim is still dazed. Proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient as it will trigger itself into greater greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also apply to pain also apply to pain in doses. If possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to do, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitamin and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. Maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it will likely. It is likely that all will be not. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Amnesia drink. What? Hey, a thing. Is it you, my love, I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them, a demonic sultan perched on the dark mountaintop. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. Hey, oil. Oh god, he was listening to the screams from there. That's a little fucked. Carefully cutting the man open made him think this is how father must feel about his craft. Being an artisan, relying on one's skill to perform something so delicate grants a certain form of pride. 